everybody, uh, Kevin Bredding with Campus Recreation. Thanks for joining me for this aerobic workout. Uh, I'm going to assume that you've already done some warm-up stuff, so take some time to move around, refer to maybe some other videos uh, for some warm-up activities. But get your heart rate up a little bit. I want you to be a little bit warm, a little bit breathy, um, maybe a little bit sweaty as we get this started. Um, or if, if you don't want to do that and you just want to dive in, take the first round a little bit mellow. Give, give yourself an on-ramp before you really start to heat up the engine. So, here we go. So I'm going to describe our workout coming up. There's going to be a page that you can pause if you need to. Uh, it's going to be an aerobic circuit, which means we're going to get the engine revved up and then keep it warm for the whole time. It's a circuit. Three to four rounds. You're going to perform each exercise for 30 to 60 seconds with a transition to the next exercise as soon as you're able, but rest as you need it. I want you to feel a little bit recovered, but keeping our heart rate elevated, keeping our breathing rate elevated. Uh, there's an optional warm-up included here. I didn't display it in the video, but if you just want to pause the screen and do that warm-up if, if, if you need one, uh, that would be good. And then the main body is three to four rounds with a rest between rounds. Number two involves a jump rope. If you don't have a jump rope, just pretend. Number three involves a band. If you don't have a band, um, I'll give you some options when we get there. And then number five are sand bell. Uh, I use a sand bell. You can use pretty much any loading device like a medicine ball or even a dumbbell, um, something like that. And I'll talk about that as I get there. Uh, and then I walk you through a cool down uh, for those last three exercises. So again, if you need to pause the screen and kind of take some notes or just refer back to it um, as we go, this, this is a good description of what we're going to be doing. And you notice the columns have the reps or time and then how fast my guideline is and then what kind of rest you need uh, either during the exercise or at the end of the exercise. As we get ready to start our first exercise, here we go. Up and over, step to a lunge, high knee, Land on a left side lateral lunge, return to a high knee, try to balance for a second, curtsy squat, up to a knee drive, and then reverse. Step all the way back. Here as I turn back over, I'm going to switch my feet, switch my hands, drive up and over with that foot, land on the lunge, stand up to a high knee, land on the outside foot, load the hips there, return to the high knee, step backwards to a curtsy squat, back up to a balance and then reverse. You go back to the lunge, flip that leg over the top. Here you switch your legs and your hands again, up and over, and there you repeat on that side again. Our second exercise is a jump rope. Uh, pretty basic, pretty standard. Keeping feet together. Um, just looking for a, an aerobic effort here. We're just chipping away through a normal jump rope. And to show you a side view, same thing. If you want to do double unders here, if you're feeling good, uh, go ahead and knock them out, but it's pretty standard there. A third exercise, I use a band. I have a circular band and I nest myself inside of it, but if you had two independent bands, it would be fine to hold one handle in each side. I have it anchored about chest height. Uh, if you don't have a band, if you can push against a wall or something and then shuffle in between and then push against a wall, that would work. If you don't have anything like that, uh, just do your body weight and kind of mimic the motion. Or you could even hold maybe some light dumbbells in each hand and press those forward. But I want to shuffle twice, once, twice, press my hands, shuffle once, twice, and press my hands. Coordinating my footwork, the band comes back to my chest in, in the middle of the shuffle as I work through each side. If you do this for a minute, um, it gets fairly challenging. We're keeping that, that heart rate up, keeping the breathing up, and coordinating that feet and coordinating the hands at the same time. On to our fourth exercise is a broad jump. I'm going to wind up, take a big broad jump, kind of reset, take my time to get settled, and do that on the clock for 30 to 60 seconds. Uh, that's our first option. And our second option is here where I add this little uh, frog jump. And this is a kind of a regression, but it's still going to be fairly challenging. I'm just going to take those small little leap frogs back and forth. Uh, for the space that I have, I'm doing three of them, but you could do that continuously, like maybe in a circle. 
uh, if you have the space for it. And a progression to that leapfrog option, option is coming up. I'm going to do one leapfrog and then one jump in the middle and then a final leapfrog. Here's what that looks like. Stand up, reset, go down to the first leapfrog, big jump, and that's a progression from the standard of just the, the broad jump by itself. So choose the option or the, that's best for you or mix and match. Alright, exercise number five, I have a sand bell, but you could easily use a medicine ball or a dumbbell or even a milk jug or something. Um, but I have it two hands, I wind up into a rotational squat, take a shuffle step with a 90 degree turn, or maybe a little more, maybe a little more turn than 90 degrees, catch it on the shoulder, and then drive up to the ceiling. Wind up, take a shuffle step with a turn, drive it up to the ceiling. And I do that each side for about 30 seconds. Our last exercise is this multiple direction broad jump. Uh, I start in the middle as home base, and then I hop to each corner with a two-footed semi-broad jump and return, and I reset in the middle between each corner, but a progression is to make that continuous. And then I just hop corner to corner to corner to corner. Uh, that's going to obviously be more expensive, uh, and that'll tie up the last exercise in the circuit, and that's it. Now I'm in our cool down. I have my band again, and I'm gonna keep it at that same about chest height anchor. I'm gonna put my hands inside of it and take a big forward step and let the band pull my hands backwards as I press my sternum forward into the band to really get my shoulders to open up. And also I'm thinking of leaning into that uh, and extending that rear leg, pushing that heel to the ground to open up that front hip flexor on that long leg. And number two, I keep the band anchored and I hold it with the outside hand, step into a moderate lateral lunge and pull that band across my chest and drive that elbow behind me. There's a little bit of muscle tension here, but I'm thinking as a restorative. The band is in a sense making the lunge easier for me as I drop into that lunge. And then lastly, we just have a child's pose and sink into the child's pros, get some nice deep breathing, and focus on the restoration from the workout. So thanks for joining me. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Here's one more copy of the, of the program design. If you need to pause this and take a look and study that and use it as your template, uh, I hope it's a good workout. Thanks.